Okay, let's go to 2021 and solve one of those. So we like, I hope, my hope is that eventually we will arrive. At least one year will be completed because, because it's good to complete things. It, it feels good to complete things. Okay, so, but this will probably be hard, right? It's probably harder. Oh, look, we needed to write another game. Cool. You arrive in the year 18. If it weren't for the code you got in 1018, you would be very cold. The North Pole base hasn't been even constructed. Rather, it hasn't been constructed yet. The elves are making little progress, but there is a lot of liquid water in this climate, so they're getting very as is not a lot of okay maybe there's more on the ground you, you melt snow right what, what's the problem you melt snow that's your water like you always have water in north this kind of two-dimensional vertical slice of the, but don't melt uh, yellow snow you scan a two-dimensional vertical slice of the ground nearby and discover that it's mostly sand with winds Clay is kind of rise there, there's no scan in, this will be not available, how much water is there here in scan. X represents the distance to the right, and Y represents the distance down. So there's also a spring of water near the surface at X500. Y is kind of found, such a kilometer, so clay, your puzzle input. Okay, rendering clay as hashtag and send this dot and the water string is plus and with x increasing to the right and y increasing downwards this become so this is scanning down and this is our axis right so this is our we always have this and we have the spring of water will produce water forever. Water can move through sand, but is blocked by oh my fucking god! Oh my god! This is liquid simulation. Okay, here we go. The spring of water. Uh, it's probably fun, um, and we can use graphics as we did the last time. So we probably have everything set up, so it shouldn't be hard. The spring of water will produce water forever. Water can move through sand, but is blocked by clay. Water always moves down when possible and spreads to the left and right, otherwise filling space that has clay on both sides and falling out otherwise. For example, if five squares of water were created, uh, they will flow down until they reach the clay and settle there. Water has come to rest, is shown here as tilde, while sense through which water has passed, but which is now dry again, is shown as pipe. Two squares of water can't occupy the same location. If another five squares of water are created, they will settle on the first five, filling the clay reservoir a little more. Water pressure does not apply in this scenario. Mm -hmm. If another four squares water will create, it will stay on the right side of the barrier and the water will reach the left side. Okay, cool. At this point, the top reservoir overflows while water can reach the tiles above the surface of the water. It can settle there. Uh, so the next five squares of water settle like this. Um, pump, pump, pump. Uh, it cannot settle here. Okay, not especially the leftmost uh, pipe. The new squares of water can reach to this tile, but cannot stop there. Instead, eventually they all fall to the right and set on the rear wall. After 10 square of water, the bottom is all on the full. Finally, while there is nowhere left for the water to settle, it can reach a few more tiles before flowing. Um, the bottom of scan data. How many tiles can be reached by water to prevent counting forever? Ignore tiles with a Y coordinate smaller than the smallest Y coordinate uh, in your scan data or larger than the largest one. Any X coordinate is valid. In this example, the lowest Y coordinate given is 1. What? Uh, and the highest is 13, causing the water spring in a row 0 and the water. 
So in example, while counting this water at rest and other sand tiles, the water can hypothetically reach till the total number of tiles, water can reach 557. How many tiles can water reach within the range of five words in your scan? So begin get your scan. Oh my fucking god, this is this is a lot. But okay. This is proper problem, like it's it's hard. <laughs> but that's why we're here, right? We we're here to solve hard problems and I can use graphics again, I guess. Which should be fun. I said <laughs> he said this full full of enthusiasm, right? <laughs> uh, it's just it's it's hard. Okay, okay, but we, we are not we are not worried. We're not worried. Okay, let's go. Uh, day fifteen, let's create a folder for day seventeen. Because we if we are going to use graphics, we're not probably going to use graphics, not not this time. No. Okay, let's remove it. Okay, so here we have the day 17 example. When we are going to use graphics and don't get me wrong, we are just not going to use... What the fuck? So they are like, why are those reversed? <laughs> oh, because this is horizontal. Oh, okay, so that sometimes horizontal, sometimes vertical. Okay. Okay, 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 I get it. Uh, so this is our example and this is our puzzle input, right? This uh, proper input, okay. Uh -huh. we, let's create a day 17 GUI, right? We, we are going to need the 17 plane, all of those, probably not font or image, even though they don't get out of the way, but yeah, let's, maybe some structures from the 17, but probably not. Okay, so this is the 17, the 17 GUI. And just plain day seventeen like this. Well, like we don't need examples. Prob we probably need the problem definition uh, for those. I don't know. Parts we will certainly write. Solve part. Okay. So. Day seventeen example. Day seventeen example. Right. Um, opts. Maybe. Maybe not. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the seventeen dot CLJ eval. And day seventeen GUI. So what we need in the day seventeen GUI is this, this, right, and this. All of this. Okay. Make window, window make on paint, and we need on paint. So on paint is going to be clear for us yet. Uh, maybe we're going to need this kind of calculations and maybe this. All right. Uh, 
okay so this clears our canvas we get the size and what we need is so this like takes game we don't have game we have a map and um I wonder what we're going to do like is this iterative like are we going to iterate if we're going to iterate we can animate of course but if we are not we might not like how big is this uh, so we're probably going to store um I don't know what we're going to start. One, two, three, four. We have four types, right? So it could be a byte array. But let's call it a map. Let's call it a map. Okay. And map, let's say game we also need this kind of kind of like this um map map Okay, and here we are going to need um, something similar to this, but different. Okay, so this is going to be an array of bytes, and we have this line, right? Okay. Uh, 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 and we need the parse function parse input and we supposed to return a map okay, okay. Mm -hmm. we're using bytes even though we could have used chars but chars are bigger and there is no 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 reason to use chars like chars twice as byte but we only need four values so we can convert later and we can use as key the same as here but yeah anyways anyways uh can i, I already estimate line of code uh, time it will take to solve this i cannot I cannot actually I, because I'm not sure which algorithm we're going to use. We are probably going to iterate somehow, right? And probably the iteration would be we add uh, one unit of water, uh, see where it goes, and if it goes uh, out of the map. Well, this is actually interesting because yeah i don't know what we're going to do not really yeah i think i am thinking two hours realistically uh given we have for graphics which we don't need and we figure out the algorithm to do this because like you see if we add one unit of water it goes like here stays here eventually it fills this up then it goes maybe to the left first then to the right which is okay but then like it feels this uh, and then it goes like when new unit falls here we kind of have a branching problem right because it can go to the left and fall here or it can go to the right and how we do we do this branching i'm not sure right right I suppose we do both and we don't go huh. yeah I, 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 I'm, I probably think this algorithm to do this would be the most interesting part 
visualization. Uh, it's, it's probably fast, fun part, but not, not very interesting. Okay. Um, hmm. I also wondering like what is the smallest y will be here? I'm not wondering. No, I don't. I don't care. <laughs> really. Um, but we what we should do is probably include starting. Or maybe like this. Okay. Um, probably I'm going to need this. We're going to need this with height. Draw map. Uh, what we need to do? Okay, so we have uh, water, right? And this is going to be byte Okay, one to six. We are going to need uh, sand. This is sand, this is clay, and we also have a wet, which is like this, right? We don't need this, probably not really. Water, sand, clay, wet. Yeah, something like that. So our first problem is we need to parse a map and build build this. The second problem we are going to do is we have to draw it, right? And then we can start solving this. But yeah, let's start with parsing. Okay, so what we do is Hmm. First, we need to identify smallest values, uh, smallest x, smallest y, and biggest x, biggest y, right? For to do that, we are going to To do that, we are going to do parse line line and uh, given if some x y y two Okay, so what we return is x l one, x y two. And just in case if this didn't work, we have alternative. Right? And alternative is 
y x sorry y x1 x2 y x1 x2 uh, and we do main y max y okay this way This is how we parse the line. Uh, if sum requires what? what? What's wrong? Okay, let's parse a few lines just to check that it works. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, right? Uh, y, X, X, Y. What? With what? Yeah, we need this. Because if it doesn't match, we don't need to proceed. Yeah, of course. Okay, so this seems to work, right? And we build So we parse lines, split input, right, slash n. Okay, so these are lines, and x mean would be reduce mean concat and percent zero map lines or the way we did it last time this will get us access And this is going to no, give us y's um, one three, right? Okay, let's see parse example. Doesn't know how to. Yeah, this up. Okay, so from one to thirteen, uh, okay, this looks correct. And let's see sizes of. So in real problem, the map is almost two thousand units deep and about 200 wide, so 200 by 2000, which is a lot. My screen, would my screen fit actually? How? It barely fits, right? Uh, so we have 2000, like it's almost pixel for pixel. Wow. Cool. Uh, 
probably it's going to be a cool visualization. But anyway, uh -huh. okay, so our width, width is going to be y max y min, right? And height is going to be y max y min. Yeah, this is x, of course. Uh, so there is that, and what we need to do is map is going to be make array byte type uh, multiple of width and height, and finally we return x min x max with height map. This is what we do. Okay, high what? Yes. And to write the map get oh no 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 this is only half only half prob problem right so now we need to go over each line and uh, fill it Okay, do seek line lines if okay, so now if okay, so it's x1, y1, x2, y2, if equals x1, x2, right? We say do seek. Um, y range y1 ink y2 uh, asset we need this function we take map x and y actually can save we can actually say this we can create it because array is mutable let's call it array actually or in r okay um let's call it array what the fuck r it's r okay and now uh, we take map so basically this is we need to add x minus x min map right multiple widths of map minus y y min map something like this right So we set array map uh, this thing. This is our index in this array. Actually, you know what? We need uh, map get and map set anyways. So this is going to be array map Map get and map set, and here we just call map set map x1, y, and clay, right? Okay, yes, and if we parse, parse example. We don't get. I forgot to pass map here. Mm -hmm. Okay, something is wrong. <laughs> mm. 
Hmm. Oh, because I have, yeah, of course. But we still get index out of bounds, which is unfortunate. Actually, you know what? Why max should be? Uh, so say we have a line from one to three. This gives us width of three, right? Yeah, we need to increase this by one. Okay, and this gives us some some sort of a map, right? A parse example, parse problem. It took hundred around hundred milliseconds, but it's okay. It's okay. Uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. So next step, uh, what is our next step? Let's draw this map, right? So wait, wait, wait. Uh, to do that, we are going to need to cancel this. We're going to need to invent a script like this, unfortunately. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Run year 2018, day 17, GUI-SH. Short X, credit, run, day 17, GUI. Okay. And we get our window. Uh, it has wrong title, fortunately, but this is easy to fix. Let's see how this problem is called. Zero one research. Okay. Titles are important. Titles are important. Uh, we do this and we close that window and we make a new one. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, we close this window, we reevaluate and we create which one. Okay, uh, let me see how it looks on stream. It looks alright. Maybe a little lower, but it's, it's alright. So the problem now becomes how do we draw our map given that it is very narrow and very tall. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Don't do any painting here, but Yes, this is interactive. So if we want, we have this figure out or this figure out. Okay, uh, yeah. Let me I'll probably need some tea and then we can start drawing. And I'm thinking maybe because it's so tall and narrow, we can make multiple iterations of it kind of hmm. right let's get something first
Okay, so, so this is what I'm thinking. So we, we need to uh, identify the size of a pixel, all right, first. Uh, so let's write a function for that, different pixel size. Uh, so it's window width, windows height, map width, and map height, right? And this is what I'm thinking. So we start with uh, size one. And if it doesn't fit, we return previous one, kind of, yes? Okay, so uh, what we do here is so we try a bigger size and what, this is what we do. We try to fit uh, We see how many window heights. So we have map height, right? Map height multiplied by P prime. Oh, let's let's do P. And we start. This is how many we want. I don't remember what this. Okay, so let's experiment with quote first. Okay, so quote say we need um, phi. Uh, quote is like division, but. Um, normal division, <laughs> right? Uh, so say we have a height of window of 100, right? And a map of 200. So what we get in this case, two, right? But what if we have a map of 180? We have one, right? So this is wrong-ish. So what I want to do for 200 is get Two. So it's basically ink, but uh, now we get three. Like for 199, we get two, which is correct. But uh, for 200, we get a little bit more. So we do this. Kind of, right? Um, hmm. So we decrease this and quote window height and increase. And this is let uh, this is how many um, how many columns we are going to have. So let's call it calls. Oops. Right, and if multiple of calls map with P, and we actually want a divider between those, so it's plus one map width. If this is still smaller, if, no, actually, if this is bigger than window width, right, then okay, so this is our pixel size. Uh, well, Take it to leave it. Uh, so pixel size 
is going to be pixel size we need window width window height uh, then um, width swap height map right this is our pixel size uh, so this we don't or maybe we are going to need it Pixel size, pixel size, but uh, probably not, not in this. Well, we're going to need it, but yeah. And the next uh, thing we're going to do is we want to center it, right? So to center it, what will do we do? Hmm. We can also identify the amount of rows here. And rows is going to be, let's do so rows is a height map, right? Multiplied by pixel size. Uh, this is and we divide it by we divide it by window height right So say we have 20 to 50 rows, but we only have, no, we divide by amount of columns, right? We are divided, divided by amount of columns. And how many columns we are going to have? Well, this many. No, not really. Okay, <laughs> so this many, and uh, this is basically height map, and with window pixel size. This is how many columns we are going to have. So rows is uh, height of the map divided by amount of columns, and all right so this is the biggest it might not be even but we need to take it into account and this is how many we want and now we know how many columns how many rows so what we take is we take with of the get bounds minus calls pixel size right and here it's rows pixel size so this is going to center us kind of right Mm-hmm. And what we need to do now is with let's say with open paint paint set uh, color paint unchecked int uh, our color we need the color of sand. I think it was colors. Yeah, I like this one, don't like the guy, but oh, I'm okay with the guy. Uh, you can choose some colors here and we don't really care, but I would say scent looks like this. 
Oh, we copy this. So we set it like that. Now we draw on. Um, you know what? Actually, scale canvas pixel size. So this is going to make some calculations easier. So now we only draw rectangles one by one. As I said, we don't need that. But we draw the sand first, right? And then over it we draw everything else. So what we need is uh, do sequence calls range um, zero calls. This is an, our number of columns and we draw rect canvas um, starting with so x y is going to be zero uh, width is going to be calls and height is going to be rows, right? Paint like this. But there is um, there is also if for last. So last is going to be slightly different, but here we multiply call by um, how wide is our map and plus one, right? Because we, yeah. And for last one, we do kind of the same, but instead of rows, we use mod of uh, height map rows. Oh my god. What are the chances that I get this right on like first run? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> pain. <laughs> it is pain, yeah. Okay, no matching method makes. Make X, Y. Oops. Remove it here so that we can see both. Mm-hmm. So I think I messed up in here somewhere. Wait, what? No, I probably messed up in here somewhere. Boom. And we have an error. An error that says... That it says... Uh, no matching method scale font. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, scale is... This feels like a lot, but count is not supported on long. Yes. I don't see any sand, unfortunately. But maybe this is because we didn't parse example, or did we? Huh. Okay, uh, it's not clear yet, but let's... Um, let's print uh, calls, rows, I don't know. Pixel size. So pixel size is 76. Uh, we have one column and we have um, 988 rows, which is kind of a lot, right? And 
height of the map is 13. Yeah, this is strange. So call seems correct. So this Okay, now it feels more, more proper, but where is my so paint method is changing, but we don't see this, right? No, calls is wrong actually. It should be width of the map. Mm -hmm. uh, I assume we have this rectangle to draw, right? So let's print. So we, we should see a rectangle from 0, 0, width 12 and height 0. Okay, so this is our problem probably. Um, yeah, this is our problem. So the problem is, let's say, this is a problem. So let's say we have We know we are going to fit like a hundred rows, right? Uh, and our map height is 300, right? So the last one should have 100. This is a little bit trickier because it's like integer uh, division. We should always have at least one row, right? So it's basically mode. Uh, Okay, so if we have 300, 100, we should have 100, right? We, if we have 301 and we should have 1, and we have 229 and 100, we should have 99. So it feels like it is mod map height rows increased, right? But here somehow, um, so if we do this, we get zero here. But we shouldn't. We should get uh, 99 here. So kind of like this. So it will be 299, 100, yeah, yeah, kind of like this. Um, so basically increment, this is super unsupportable, right? Uh, 
Yay, we see something. We probably fucked up uh, this part. Huh. No, this is wrong, actually. This is more like it, right? And we can... this, we don't need this, we don't need this yet. Um. <laughs> okay, let's draw uh, everything else and then see how it goes, right? I, I have a feeling we have it more or less correct-ish. I'm not sure why it's not centered though, but let's draw like first of all, let's draw clay or I don't know Should generate from Y first, of course. Right, and what we do is map get map get map x y and case while in case it's we can well. Right now it's either clay, the 17 clay, we do paint and check tint. So what do we use for clay? What do you feel like? Clay should be like this, right? Okay. Otherwise, we do nothing. If well, kind of just draw rect. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, if not equals while the seventeen cent. It's not, if it's not cent. Uh, we just uh, draw rect canvas. Uh, now it is tricky, but yeah, we'll figure it out. So <laughs> basically, rect make x y w h. So kind of like this paint. What? Map get. Okay, so map get. Yeah, uh, this seventeen map get. We get an error because 
we get index out of bounds. Oh, this is interesting. We still print something, we don't need to print anything. Okay, and now we don't see any clay at all, right? Some reason. Actually, you know what uh, scent is going to be this, but it doesn't matter. So we do see something, but for some reason we don't draw anything, right? Yeah, because Now we should see something, but we don't still. Yeah, case didn't work. Okay, I don't know what the deal with case is, but uh, yeah. For some reason it's it's not what we want. Okay, uh, it kind of draws something, right? It's probably not what we want. This is... It's like kind of, it looks like it takes some time to draw. Maybe we need FPS or something. Okay, um, it doesn't draw horizontal lines for some reason. Oh yeah, because we forgot to do horizontal lines, right? This is the power of visualization, like you instantly see what is wrong. Does it look like something? I think it does, right? So now what we need to do is to... We need to move... The 
Green Coder has raided me with party of three. Yay! Welcome to the stream. We are trying to solve the 17 of 2018, which is water simulation. And right now we're trying to visualize it actually. Okay, so what we need is like this works, right? This doesn't work yet. Well, it kind of works, but uh, it doesn't swap to the right. And it's also slow as hell. Why is it so slow? Wow. No, it's super slow. And we are not drawing even the, the sand. We're only drawing. Okay, yeah, well. Let's see. Yeah, this is more like it, so it's, it resizes for to fit. This is wrong, though. For some reason, they have different size. This is wrong. This seems correct. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can figure out what to do with this. So, basically, what we need is to figure out which dx to move. So, dx is the x prime is it's basically a dx plus a column um, a width of the map multiplied by so we need to identify its column uh, to identify column we go we take like ink mod no, we take we just take mod of its dy by rows right so it's from zero to nine thousand ish yeah this is our dx and dy is actually mod. No, this is quad. So it's kind of like this. It might be all by one easily, but who knows? Yeah. This is our map, but it takes forever to draw it, right? So what do we do in this case? This is what we can do, actually. We can stop redrawing it on each frame, right? And what we can do is install we have this uh, redraw um, map redraw fun Can do this. Okay. Now we close window. Actually, how low? How big is the window? Mm, get window wrecked. Mm -hmm. Window JVM Window Don't 
see here. Okay, I don't see the values because thirteen, eighteen. Okay, so let's say set it like this. Maybe slightly lower, right? Ah, doesn't really. Okay, let's do this. Now we can. Yeah, this is all right. Okay. Um, okay, this is how big we want our window. Let's close it. Let's make a new one. And let's reset with a problem. And I actually, you know what I want? to time the rendering. And let's say do this. Huh. Let's close it again. Let's open it. Okay, this is time it takes uh, to render. But uh, the real reason is I just want to see it takes around a second to render this crap, right? Why? Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's say we do time here and we don't do anything in here, right? And we request render. So it takes around a second just to do. Huh, just to iterate. Oh my fucking god, what? So it's 200 by 2000, so it's four hundred thousand. So it's not drawing that slow. It's iteration that's slow, right? Let's uh, do our old friend check for reflection. Our, our, our old friend reflection, let's do it. Um, hmm. Because it might easily be something super stupid. 38, 41, okay, 38 pixel size. It doesn't know what I get or what. Aha, uh -huh. I get and so it's actually here. Okay, we still get reflection at 31. Hmm. B in the no what? What do you fucking mean? Unknown. How is it unknown? Okay, no reflection now, okay. Now let's require... Okay, now it takes 16 milliseconds. Okay, so it was just a reflection problem. This is still more than I would like it to be, but it's way better now, right? It's around 30. FPS. 
Okay, so we have a map. We can even probably resize it reasonably. I know why for four it gets like this is not correct, but I don't have this is also not correct actually. Uh -huh. Uh, let's see, maybe I'm using window height. Why well, I should be using window width or something like that. I will never know, right? Well, this my one. Uh, I know, I don't care. Uh, this is good enough, right? Can you please copy the URL of the problem in the chat so we can follow? Okay, you found it. Cool, 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 cool. You need more RAM. No, I don't need more RAM. No, it was a reflection. As, as its usual is in closure, uh, it is reflection problems. And with proper reflection, like iterating over 400,000 mm -hmm. elements and drawing them with no, no sweat. Computers are fast. That's what you need to remember. Computers are fast. If you don't do stupid things, they are super fast. Crazy fast. Okay, and we're in a good place. Uh, probably, how much did we spend? An hour implementing this, right? Probably. Um, okay, yeah, and we're in a good place to solve actual problem. How the fuck do we solve it? That's a question. That is the question. go here I didn't draw water yet and we didn't draw um, yeah, the. so uh, the way to solve it look, let's look at this right somehow we need to identify like we start here, we flow water down. Like, is it reasonable at each step just add one more water and see where it falls? It will be super long, right? But maybe not. Yeah, and okay, so problem with that is we actually need to track how it flows or where it might go, not where it actually goes. So we don't care about these field ones even.
Oh no, we can't. We we count both water at rest and water not at rest. So we need we, we care about tildes and we care about these pipes, right? So my biggest concern, like I can figure out how to calculate tildes. Probably you just like start falling water from the top, and the moment the water drops beyond everything is uh, when you end right uh you can even track how it goes but like you see here it goes both ways which is super tricky to implement right maybe we start with just flowing water drops one by one Or maybe we, we keep track of, like, each time water drops and has, like, two options where to go, it splits, for example, right? Huh. It splits. And if it hits a wall, it just stops, kind of. So let's implement this algorithm, like we drop a drop of water um, and we, file, we write it as it goes down, right? We simulate that. It, it, it should be fun at least to watch it and then we do it like multiple times until it all falls super super down huh. yes Probably yes. I hear yes. Okay, to do that, what we need? Uh, we need... Maybe we also start drawing water and... wet paths. Well, basically, it's just uh, for water and wet. So, this. Right, and uh, what we do is we choose a color for each of those. And water is going to be. I like that. I think it should be okay. We might redesign later, and we need also this wet uh, sand. So sand is this, right? So wet sand might be kind of like this. Good if it's noticeable. I hope I hope it's noticeable. Uh, uh, you don't have anything yet. 
Okay, so what we do is we do so there is a map, right? We add um, active water particles and those are particles that we actually track and what we add as well is a changed flag which is whether anything on the map has changed or not okay so we call this a water and we call uh, changed right so water in our case is going to be when we parse uh, uh, water uh, let's say it's empty and changed is false right but uh, what we actually want to do is we want to have a particle of water at 500 x min. Uh, sorry, I, I mean. Okay. Uh, now I have two windows. Maybe we start with simple example actually. Oh no, this is right because I, I do plus one here. It's it's actually correct. Uh, but extra actual width is Nah, it's all right. Um, yeah. Okay. So we have this. We we have this. So let's do kind of what we do is we implement a step, right? We implement a step. It takes a map and it returns a map, right? So our step would be take each water No, this is going to be an empty array for starters. So our step is going to be take take water from the sequence, uh, take water from the map, fall it down one um, item, All right? For each water, we try to do what we can. Uh, we also need direction, probably. Right. Yeah, so it's basically a reduce. Uh, we take a map and water on the map. Right. And. Um, x y dx <sighs> 
so what we do is so the x is either minus one zero or one so water is either falling down goes to left or goes to right right and i suppose we So dx is zero, so water is falling down, right? And let's say let's say down is um, map get map x in y left is map same but deck x y and right is ink x y okay and in this cases um We probably are going to keep max why I call them x min no it's okay x min x max right Okay, so if it's uh, y max, so if it's smaller than y max, we can do that, right? Uh, left if x is bigger than x min, and right is finally if x smaller than i okay maybe if we are going down we have um kneel down so kneel down is we just fall over right right Um, fuck. We just forget about uh, this water particle at all. all right. Um, so if we have sand underneath or wet underneath.
right if we have word underneath if we have sent underneath we just um, update map water conch we just continue falling down all right same is if it just went down it's the same um if we have uh, something so we have either water or clay now right In both cases, we in both cases we do what? If we are going down, but under us there is either water or clay. We kind of stay where we are, but go left or right, right? actually produce two pieces of water at the same coordinate one goes to the left and one goes to the right okay if we are going to the left and we have uh, Okay, if we're going to the left and we can pass to the left, we actually do this. Oops. If we're going to the left and we can't pass to the left, Right, we we gonna stop where we stand. same but we go to the right and this is actually left and this is right now uh, we actually can um, we should implement falling down so like we were moving 
to the right but we can fall down right so it's actually like like this pass down but we don't care whether it's basically it says if we can fall down we fall down if we are falling down but can't we split right uh, if we were going left and can go left we go left if we are going right and can go right we go right oh, sorry otherwise we stop um, and kind of like this, just in case. But I feel like we should cover all cases with this, right? Mm -hmm. We don't track dry regions yet, unfortunately. We don't track change status. because it's tricky but uh, let's say we do this for a while right uh, we have this and what if we do swap map update update water Conch five hundred. I mean, percent zero, right? Uh, yeah, we don't track changed yet. Nothing changes, right? There is no water anywhere. <laughs> uh, did we update paint, by the way? Yes, we did. Okay, uh, for some reason I have a feeling we need to to reset. Why? Okay, so now I don't understand it. Oh yeah, because it's okay. So we have water here, right? And what we need to do is map this seventeen step actually. Boom! Boom! Uh, 
and that's it. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, water is over. Okay, uh, I feel like we need to draw falling water as well. And to do that, we, we're going to get rid of this timer. And this timer. Don't need this, right? Okay, what I'm feeling we should do is draw like falling water, water in motion. And to do that, we are going to to do this. Okay, so do seek um, x, y direction. Yeah, actually, yeah, direction or we call dir, right? Dx, dx, okay, dx. Um, water from the map right for each of those we maybe want to say dx is minus x x mean map dy is minus y y mean map okay and what we do is i was thinking of drawing triangles Maybe, maybe, um, but maybe it's not. Yeah, triangles are good, right? Oh, okay, we don't need that. But what we need is a ski drop, probably. Canvas Java draw point. So what we need to do is draw points. Mm. Nah. <laughs> let's, just, let's just draw wrecked. It's it's getting too hard. Okay, so um, I might also want to and we need to set paint to something like much more brighter water because it's kind of fresh or falling I don't know let's set on this okay so now it will be um, Actually, you know what? We are going to draw So if it's zero, we actually want to draw, like, let's say we want to draw 0 0.5, 0 0.5, right? And um, like this, right? It will be like aligned a little bit. So it goes to the right, so it's like that. And if it goes to the left, it's like that. Okay. 
Okay. So let's drop another piece of water like this. Let's see. So it goes down. Boom. There is already water, right? And it splits, which is expected. The right one stumbles. The left one falls. Boom. It splits again and goes and goes here. Okay, cool. Next. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Um, yeah, this is kind of incorrect, but kind of cool to watch anyways. So we've implemented something, but <laughs> this something is very strange, right? Yeah. So there are mistakes, but uh, the general principle is it kind of works. Let's write a function that uh, does <sighs> loop. Does closure have a while operator? You know, it has while. Quarter map. Kind of, yeah. Okay, and we can reset. Isn't it cool? Okay, let's. Uh, it's super hard what we're doing, but let's acknowledge it that it's cool. Okay, so this is fine by me so far. This is kind of not fine. This is probably the most problematic, right? Okay, so uh, yeah, probably this one is not fine. Like, like normally this piece should flow under here. Like this doesn't create a problem for us, but this does, this situation does, right? Mm. And it's not clear what to do with it. It's not clear what to do with it.
Okay, we are thinking about it wrong. It's it's not what we want. We, what we want is something very different. Let me hide this. Actually, since I have this. Okay, uh, the way we're thinking about it is wrong, and it's wrong like we we are too fine grained, right? What we should be doing is uh, like we have a point of water drop, right? We follow it down until we hit something. Once we hit something, there are two possibilities. One is we are bounded from both sides. In that case, we the three possibilities. In that case, we fill the whole row, right? Second possibility is we drop down. In this case, we just forget about it. And the third possibility is uh, we are bounded from no zero sides or only one side. Right, and in that case, we create a new point or two new points of water drops. Uh -huh. Now, what actually we need to be doing? Any x coordinate is valid. It means we need to increase our axis. One on left and one on right. Okay, this is very important. Uh, and this is in parsing, right? Now, so x mean is decrement and x max is increment okay and what this gives us is this okay uh, this way we can track uh, water falling over the left edge or water falling over the right edge is it by the way is it correct yeah Kind of ish. This line is ignored and these lines are ignored. Okay, cool. Um, let me read this because it annoys me to have notifications. <sighs> One password is using significant energy. What the fuck? Right. Am I right? Uh, yeah, okay, but uh, I like the new algorithm and in this, like, we just be much smaller. So, in, in our case, water is a point from which water falls down, okay? Kind of. Hmm. Let's let's write this. Uh, let's call it source. Right. Is it called source in the task? Spring. Ah, it's called source anyways. Uh, source. Sources. Yeah, let's call it sources, okay? And we start with no sources, but it doesn't matter. Okay, step, step source. So we start with a map and 
a source, right? And this is like this. What we do is we start at Y and we go down, right? Uh, if or so while is map get actually this check we can put it in map get and uh, we can actually do when it might introduce some problems okay uh, do I have con plus I have it in core right yeah we have con plus here oh cool 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 so we have con plus uh, so if y is bigger than y max we just return map right it's otherwise it's map get uh, map x y let's call it y zero and x zero right just to remember uh, this is what is under us. If we can go uh, down, and it's possible, we just go down. So first step is we go down. Uh, once we either exit or we hit something, right? So this is we hit something and we go to the left and to the right and see if we bound it from the bound it from both sides oh this is this is hard for closure Otherwise, let left x left is let's call it let's so basically this means we go to the left until we hit. Um, We either have nothing under us or or we hit the wall, right? Yeah. 
if we hit a wall, we return current x. If we have nothing under us, um, Is it possible that we call this function on the last row? Probably not, right? Uh, so we say if we have pass um, So this is our x left and we have the same x right but instead of deck we got ink. Right. Um, hmm. So if we are bounded from both sides, uh, that means um, not pass um, map get deck x left y. So it's, if it's not possible from both sides, okay, down beneath map bottom. this case bounded from both sides right so for this what we do is we start from x left do seek uh, kind of x range x left ink x right map set map x y water okay map no uh, map this is what we do uh, if we bound it from both sides we return um, water and if we have if we can fall this is not actually safe but we should check two different things So we might introduce one or two new sources, right? And in that case, huh? Yeah, so it's tricky to write because Uh, 
Så i... Uh, I'm just thinking maybe like if we feel a line, we continue with the same source, but we continue with the same source, right? Huh. Okay, but either way, um, we have do this is else in our world. And we fall down somewhere, 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 somewhere in here. Uh, but the way we do it is Basically, if we are here, if this is empty, that means we need create source here, right? This feels like something. This one is probably... So now we need to figure out how to iterate correctly over it, right? Mm. What I'm thinking actually is if we feel... If we feel a water tank here we keep the same source, right? Then we will feel this one. Then we will feel this one. Then we will feel this one. And then finally we won't feel. We create a new source here. And we don't care about this source anymore, right? We know that it will always overflow here. Uh -huh. And then we feel here, we'll feel here, we'll feel here. And then we create two sources. And we start with this one. So it feels like... I quit today. Uh, it feels like... We need first in, first out. No, first in. So in the stack, kind of, right? Not.
Mm -hmm. Okay, this feels like what do you mean enable? Oh X is unknown what? Okay, 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 okay. So sources is I'm gonna switch from .NET to Golang. Am I wrong? Sorry for interrupting from the task. Switch for what? Switch for work or for advent of code? I don't know. I have no idea how popular .NET is. And from what I hear, Golang is quite popular. I don't know. But whatever you enjoy more, I think I. Uh, some times ago, I accepted that I just want to enjoy my work and the work in whatever language brings me more joy, uh, most joy. And for now, it's closure. I tried working on Java and Kotlin, but it's like your happiness is most important thing. It's it's not worth it to force yourself to work in a language that you don't like. I think. Actually, you know what? Why thought? Yeah, thanks. I tried to solve the same task on lead code, fail miserably. This task? This task was on lead code? I think it's more like this is more about huh, infrastructure, not. I don't know. I, I, I got the impression that lead code has like smaller tasks and much more compact and you figure algorithm and you implement it and you got to go here you parse input you like simulate your performance is important uh, okay okay yeah but uh Somehow I feel this is different a little bit. I feel in late code you still get uh, some one pass or something like that. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so uh, 
if some x1 source big sources map right uh, step update map sources pop source otherwise just a map okay so I feel this is our new step. We want a source at, we want a source, uh, we want a source at um, 500 Y min, like this. Okay, uh, we don't have water in there, like here, there is no water really but there are sources right sources and there's no direction so we just uh, paint like this 125 125 okay uh, let's restart let's reset and something is wrong already and it's not supported 17 so this is my uh, this is because I fucked this up okay so we now have our source right what we are going to do is call a step on this map and it fails <laughs> um, okay so we, re we remove It didn't work. Okay, so first step is kind of wrong, and it places our source in a very wrong position, right? So we start at y zero. Um, we check what's our current position. Oh. What the fuck? Man, this starts. I'm not in focus again. Oh my god, why? Why am I not in focus? Yeah, I'm in focus. Okay, yeah, we start probably. like that if under us there is nothing what Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it works. Okay, 
um we need to track um dry uh, regions now okay somehow but this should be okay so first thing we, we track dry regions wet or i don't know uh, they call them dry right i think Let's re replace wet with uh, dry. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to track uh, dry regions. Okay, so what? How do we do that? So if we fall beyond our map, we kind of want to mark everything from start um, to ink y right yeah Yeah, we got two dry regions. Next, um, if we are bound, if we fall down, yeah, don't care about that. Well, we do care about that. Well, we don't care about that. <laughs> uh, um, so we fell down and we found something and really right now we what we need to do is do it doesn't matter in both cases like if either we create new sources or we create uh, a body of water well actually if we create a body of water we don't create huh. In both cases, we create a dry region from source to bottom, right? Or same like here. Y range, blah, blah, blah. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, and in case we found two new sources, we also want to make this dry, right? Boom, 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 boom. Is it is it what we need? Let's see. One, one, two, three, four. Boom, boom, boom. It works. It works. Look, look at it. Yeah. Um. So last thing that we need to do. Oh, we don't need to track changed actually, because our okay camera. Play along. We don't need to play change because like we end we just end when there is no more sources right basically uh we do like this reset and then while seek sources map swap thread slip so. like this simple and Let's see it on a real problem. Okay. And it is stuck. 
and I don't see why. Okay, so it placed the source in a very interesting place, right? Okay, so this is uh, something we didn't ha we don't handle yet. Let's see why. So we are feeling from here. And basically we feel boom, 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 boom. Then we feel like this, this and this. Right. Then we feel this, like this should be empty in my book. But for some reason they aren't. Right. So we probably need to construct an artificial example like this just to test it uh -huh. okay uh, let's go let's do an example sure um, example day 17 example um, we do kind of the same but day 17 example 2 and let's be simple simple dimple um, let's see what we need what we need is okay I'll just create new document let's call let's say it needs to be 50 or 30 by 30 I'm sure this would be all right. No. Um, I need pencil. One pixel. Not this black probably. Is it black? Okay, yeah, this is this is enough. So let's say we have a source here. So what I want is first I want one, two, three, four, five, maybe like this, right? Uh, maybe even like this. This is first we want, and um, second thing we want is what if it falls like this, or right on top of this thing. Um, probably something like that. Yes. So this is what we want. Okay, so let's figure coordinates now, right? Uh, so this is 500. Uh, let's say y is uh, 0 here. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And x is... Mm -hmm. Let's say x is... 90 and y is from 3 to 10 right then we have uh, y 10 x is from 490 to 510 okay so we created this uh, and no 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 and we need like this uh, then we need to create this thingy. This thingy is going to be 493, right? And it will take from 5 to 10, 8, 7, for example. Um, and okay. 496 maybe 
then we have y of 5x for 93 for 96 y of 7 okay so this is our first construction uh, the second one is going to be like we need to place this under 5 10 so this is 510 we need to start this basically 510 is the middle of it so 59 now 511 is so 510 512 right uh, y is so let's say like this okay this is uh, the thing and we need a bucket for it and bucket is going to be so let's say 500 right from 15 okay so let's say from 13 to 20 and the same is here for 20 and finally y20 okay so this is our example two uh, we are going to save it here call it example two and example two okay is it no <laughs> this is a bad um this is kind of bad we messed up the last Bucket. The bucket is correct. Uh, this one we messed up, right? So it could be 407 and 412 ish, 15, okay. Okay, second bucket is correct. I am just wondering why is, why are we having this? This is not gonna work for us, right? This is not going to overflow properly. Huh. And this example, they have this line so that it aligns. And in this example, it feels like they have. Yeah, okay, so it's going to work kind of, right? Let's add, um, let's add just 400. Fifteen. Like this, okay? Okay. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Stop. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Okay. Yeah. In this situation, it notices that it can fall on the left. And this is good. This is good. This is actually what we want, right? Let me tweet this.
Okay, but now I need a small break. But, 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 I know what will happen next, actually. Uh, the source that we have here will find itself under the water and it would not move, right? What should happen in this situation? Well, actually, I think it should move itself, itself up, right? Uh, let's... Let's replay this again. Boom, 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 boom. So now we are... Okay, so what? where are we? We are in this step. Can it fall down? We started the source. Can it fall down? No. Can it feel itself? I, I feel like we need just one more condition and uh, we go to the condition that pulls the source up. Right? Maybe, maybe if I think maybe we just need that. I feel like we just need that. Well, I didn't remove the previous source, but we kind of get where we want it to be, right? Kind of works, right? <laughs> Let's see how it performs on our problem. That's it? No. Still continues. But now it's kind of it. And Let's see if we have like any obvious problems. I don't see any, right? 
We don't apply water pressure, which is uh, good. Make it easier, makes it easier for us. Seems all right ish. This filled up, which is also, I suppose, some edge case, which is was handled. Um, feels good, feels good. And now we need to calculate the score, right? And so the score would be. It took a long time, but it's all right. So the score would be maybe. It actually, you know what? It might have took a long time because um, because we were drawing each frame actually forcefully, so it might not be that much. Uh, score we take map and we do this. Kind of. <laughs> okay, so we, what we actually do is we start with uh, x min uh, map and plus x min map width map and one, right? Well, actually, we, can, we have x max map and we need to increment this. Okay, so this is x, this is uh, y, y, um, okay, like that. And then what we do is Right, when or it's either water or okay, so we can actually score. And finally, we do this opts. We kind of do map is map is what map is uh, parse problem parse input right. Um, if sources map record step map, otherwise return score map. Right. So part one returns fifty seven. Is this correct? It seems correct. Okay. Part one proper returns 27206 let's go if this is not the correct answer i know i don't know what i'm going to do but it is who <laughs> okay okay so we solved it um mm, uh, here we might use i don't remember how we called the option here but something like on on step, yes, delay and on turn, yeah, on turn, let's call it on, on turn. Um, mm -hmm. uh, 
on turn. Okay, so on turn on map when on turn on turn map. Okay, so we have this. Um, basically, it's a callback, right? And what we do here is what we do here is <laughs> reset day seventeen part one, right? Pass the input. And on turn is going to be this. And actually it's going to be do reset. Red sleep fifty, right? Okay, so this is what we do, and uh, in our case, let's try it with example. It kind of works. Let's try it with example two. It kind of works, and let's try it with uh, problem. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, kind of works. Right. If we try it with a delay, we can even see how they feel. Uh, maybe we can do it like that. It will be slightly faster. Isn't it beautiful? Huh? Right. Look at it. I'll just look at it. Real water simulation. Amazing. It's still going. Yeah, it's still going. Uh, but Okay, uh, do we have some reflection going somewhere? Doesn't look like it. We still have ti time somewhere. No? Anyways, anyways, um, this is good. This is good, I think. Uh, at least if we, if we would get if for some reason the answer would be incorrect, I would not know what to do. It's like, it's, I would kill myself. <laughs> because uh, I'm glad we got it right. I'm glad. Okay, let's read uh, part two and see if we can solve it. After a very long time, the water spring will run dry. How much water will be retained? In the example, our water that won't eventually drain out is shown as tilde as total. It basically asks us to calculate um, score, but with right. Mm. 
and score and we probably want to pass what right and in this case um, we have what like this and in case of part two it's basically just water right okay i don't see how it's more complicated or like this is one part task right two one seven eight seven two one seven eight seven and that's the right answer. Okay, so this is basically a one part task. This is not a two part task. Like we, we implement exactly the same algorithm um, and just calculate a different value from result from the end. But it's okay, it's, it's all right with me. It's all right with me. Uh, okay. I'm glad we did it. Uh, let's. We probably need to increase the number of tasks tasks here. Um, that was cool. <laughs> this is super cool, actually. I I, I don't know. I like it. Yeah, and for some reason after everything filled up, there's a lot of backtracking or something. But anyways, uh, this is cool. Uh, we, we, yeah, we need this. We probably don't need this. Yeah, it creates a window like that, but it's much better. Cool, 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 cool. I think we are good to... No, we're not good to yet. Yeah, you see what? Um, it has to be dry, not wet. Okay. Does it still print? No, it doesn't print anything. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Um, I'll see that it can it runs through main. Well basically we're done, right? We're done. We we solved it. Not the most optimal way, maybe. Takes a long time, five seconds, it's eternity. Um, maybe it could be optimized, but I can't be bothered. Okay. Let's commit and we are done, I think. Uh, stage. Stage, 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 stage. Okay. Year 2018, day 17. But oh my god, the tasks are becoming harder and harder. It's like super long. Like how much we three and a half hour, like let's say we spend first thirty minutes, maybe an hour. So it's between two and a half and three hours, right? For this task alone. This is a lot, like, do they expect us to do that every day? Oh my God, that's a lot. That is a lot. Oh, interesting, so this number shows, number starts in current year, but here it shows 
wait, what? Why, why am events inside? Huh. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Um, I solved it. Cool. I'll probably. Yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, thank you for joining. We done it. We solved it. Uh, everything is great. I enjoyed it a lot. And uh, stay tuned. Maybe join tomorrow. See how it goes. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.